Danny Flexen here, four seconds out with James Branch, cruiserweight contender, unbeaten cruiserweight contender. Here, we've just seen the screening of I Am Duran, documentary about the life, of course, of Hands of Stone, Roberto Duran. What, what did you make of it? I thought it was a really brilliant film. I learned a lot about Duran. Obviously, growing up, I'll be honest, my favourite was always uh, Tommy Hitman Hearn. You know, but there I learned a lot about Roberto Duran, about his life, about everything that he went through, obviously, in Panama and stuff. And it was a really good watch. I really enjoyed it, yeah. You told me some interesting news before we watched the screening. You're soon to fly out to Latvia to spar former WBC cruiserweight champion Maris Bridis. Just tell us how that opportunity came about. Well, actually, I've, I just found out I think he is WBC cruiserweight champion again. I think he's got the title back, I believe. That's what I've been told. And, um, yeah, I, I don't really know where it came about. I got a phone call from Martin the other day just before I boxed. Obviously, I boxed on, on Saturday, so that was the most important thing, obviously, to get through that fight, putting a good performance and stuff, you know. But, yeah, it's just come through there now that he was looking. I think he's fighting a southpaw. I think he's in the... Um, I think he might be in the WBSS again. I think I think yeah. I think there's a second one for the cruiserweights, and I think he obviously I think he's fighting a southpaw. And um, I'm honoured really that they found me, James Branch from England, and they found me southpaw to go out there and spar him. So um, it's a really good opportunity, and I'm looking forward to going out there and and seeing um, see how I get on against him. Any idea how they found you? Like how they were aware of who you are, what you've done? I've, I, honestly, I couldn't tell you. I asked Martin that. He said the same thing. I don't know. I won a lot. I've, I've won a lot. I've done a lot. In, my name, my, my name, my, my dad's name, and that we've done. A, we've done a lot in boxing, you know. So I think people do know, and, and we're starting to come through. Obviously, I've got a good. I've got a good piece with the boxing news. Also, that's guess giving me a lot of publicity. To people. Ian Probe at the monthly thing, yeah. Yeah, with with Ian, so that's giving me a lot of publicity to the uh, to the boxing world. And uh, I, I think maybe my CV must speak for itself obviously everything I've won coming through now to doing the professionals although he's obviously a very decorated world champion do you have to approach this in the same way as if you were sparring just a prospect down at the peacock for example yeah yeah do you know what it's it's actually it's funny you know because I feel different because everyone I spar even come through the amateurs where I always won everything the pressure's always been on me you know the pressure's always on me to shine I've got to be the one that looks good no matter who I'm getting in the ring with you know but it's weird, I'm going out there to spa and I'm going to just learn myself and enjoy and practice and I'm going out with a bit of a different myself. I'm going to see where, to see where I compare it. That, that man's the WBC world champion. I'm a 20, I'm 23 year old cruiserweight. No matter what I've won, I'm coming through and I'm learning and I'm a, and I'm a prospect and, that, and I'm still learning the game every day, you know? So I'm going to go out there and I'm going to learn from him and um, it's going to be an amazing opportunity and I, and I know I'm, my talent, I know I'm actually, I'm, I know, I believe I will be that level anyway, you know, so it'd be good to see where I compare and good to see how I do. And you're going for 10 days, is that right? I'm going for 10 days, yeah, I believe we're sparring every other day. <laughs> yeah, that'll be good, I'm really... What are you going to do on the days in between? That's the question. I don't know, that's what I was saying, I was saying, I hope ain't... I hope it ain't in the middle of nowhere, but it might, probably might be. I'll be just stuck there trying to look for Wi-Fi. <laughs> We were talking off camera earlier about um, you just got your first stoppage in five unbeaten pro fights and you, so you kind of revealed a, a slight element of frustration that people don't seem to understand the level of opponent you've been fighting and maybe why you've not been getting them all out of there. Of course, yeah, I've been under a lot of like, um, not, I wouldn't say criticism because there's no, there's no need to criticism. My performance there have been good performances. But you just find, I've noticed, obviously, since you turn professional, everything's knockout based. That's what, uh, everyone's interested in seeing people get stopped, people get, get stopped, get knocked out, you know? And then obviously I've got a lot of questions on why, why, haven't, why haven't I been stopping them? I had such a good amateur career and stuff. I think where I had such a good amateur career, I've not been just put in with, no disrespect to anyone, but lower level journeyman. You know, I've been in with other prospects, champions, people that won champions in um, a champion in the amateurs and a, a national champion. I put in with a, um, with the Bellator, uh, a British champion. You know, I ain't been just put in with any old Tom, Dick, and Harry off the street. You know, as such. But I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. But this is what happens. It, it happens in the game. You know, but um, yeah. So I've been put in with. High, high, well not higher level but that's why the stoppages ain't come but they're going to come and, and, and also a little bit to do with me I've been pro a year now me settling in 
I need to plant my feet a little bit more. Just to, it's, it's took a but when, when you've been like a, a high level amateur, it, you, the style is sort of you got to change a little bit. You know, what I mean, you got to plant, learn to plant your feet a little bit more, and it's coming naturally over time. You know. Yeah, I mean, we were saying off camera, it's quite difficult to kind of educate the public at large because there's a big casual fan base in our sport now, whereas there didn't used to be as many. And they do just want to see knockouts. And they might not be aware of going on box rec and seeing who these guys are. Of course, yeah, and you've got to, and you've got to respect that because, as you say, the public at large are just people that are... They, when, they watch, when they watch a boxing match, they want to see blood, you know, they're, they're paying, they want to see blood, they want to see people get sparked out and you've got to respect that and I do respect that and I understand that and I suppose I've got to, I've just got to take that on the chin and just get, and go and just progress and keep through but as I, as I always say, in the end, my class will shine through and I will be the one, it's, it's, it's a, um, it's a, it's a marathon, not a sprint, this game, you know, this professional game and, and as I say, a lot of these people that turn pro and that they're going, they're going, they're bombing out people that are not on that level. They're going, they go and get found out when it comes to fighting for titles, and they do end up getting found out. That ain't gonna happen with me. When are you flying out to Latvia? Sunday, Sunday afternoon with my dad. Best luck. Keep us informed. How you get on? Thank you. Thanks for the time.